Hey, howdy ho neighbor. Do we got an excellent, and I'm talking excellent, recipe for you today. We are going to make a beef broth. Yes, you can, you can use this for your stews, your soups, uh, chili. Let me tell you, this is an all around excellent beef broth. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do it right here today. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself go to your happy butcher and have him cut yourself, have him cut you a nice good chunk of soup bone. And Jim, he does an excellent job for me all the time when I ask him stuff. So, you're going to want one of these. Next, and you just put that in your pan. Next, you're going to want to cut up yourself a lot of vegetables. I mean, you want to use quite a bit. So, of course, me and Judy, we... And by the way, speaking of vegetables, if you buy your vegetables from the store, okay, and even your meats, make sure you rinse them off really, really good, okay? You never know where that celery was. If it hit the floor, does five second rule count? I don't know. Wash your vegetables. Make sure you do that. Okay, but anyways, I got, I got, this is what we're gonna throw in there. I got uh, green pepper, a whole green pepper, cleaned. six good stalks of celery, just chopped up in big pieces. And of course carrots. There's about five carrots in that bag. Of course peeled and washed. So we got all that going in there. Now this is no sodium too because we're not going to add no spices. We're going to add no salt, no pepper. Just all these vegetables. Okay, in our next bowl, I got three radishes. Okay, and I sliced them in half. One garlic clove. And I just uh, took and I just cut that right in half. That's all I did. I'm gonna throw that in there, and then. These leafy parts of the celery. Oh, there's a lot of flavor in here, people. Let me tell you. A lot of good flavor there. We don't want to waste that. And we're going to throw that in there. Because uh, that will do the trick for you. Now, remember, here about a month ago or so, I uh, did my leeks. I to grow them in a pot indoor, indoors. Look at this. These are such nice supple leaves. People, unbelievable. It's a little top heavy and it's kind of leaning over. But I'm going to take, and you can, I'm going to show you why you can cook with these. This is, look at this, it's like a piece of paper. Yeah. So, I mean, you can, I can smell that as soon as I cut that off. You can smell that. And what I'm going to do with my happy scissors is I'm just going to cut some pieces off of there. I don't want to use the end. You know, it starts to get tough. Okay. I'm going to grab myself a nice another. Uh, look, see, it's real soft. It's like newspaper. Actually, it's all the way up to about, well, right up to there. And. That is really going to give put some flavor into this. And right about there. If you don't want to use that end because it's starting to get kind of top and woody. If you understand what woody means. Okay, so that, you know, I think I'm going to add another one in there. Well, matter of fact, I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to add this one in there too. Uh, one more. 
more junk. There. Oh, can you smell that leak? I'm telling you. Alright. Now what we have in our pan is all our vegetables. And our chunk of meat. Now, what you want to do, people, is you want to fill this with water. And I'm going to say about two to three inches over because some of these vegetables will flow. So you want to add about two or three inches over the top of these vegetables. Put it on your stove. Of course, I'm going to do that after the video is over, but... <laughs> Set it on your stove, and you want to simmer this for a good 12, uh, 10 to 12 hours, okay? Um, I would, and I would say a good simmer would be See, on my stove, a good simmer would be three or four. I'm going to put this on four on mine. I'm going to put it on four. Don't add no vegetables. Don't add, I mean not vegetables. Don't add any uh, salt or pepper. No spices, nothing. Just like it is here. People, you are going to have such a rich, flavorful broth. It's going to be unbelievable. And of course, you know, you strain it and you put it in the refrigerator, skim off the fat, and you do all that nonsense. And of course, you put it away, you know, freeze it, put it in bowls. But here's a trick me and Judy do all the time. Let me get my uh, happy bowl again. <laughs> and of course, here's my, my recycled uh, container. And we fill these up and we freeze them. And because you can use this, you know, for your beef stews, gravy, people, you make gravy with this, I'm going to tell you, people be want you to work in their restaurant, yeah, I'm telling you, uh, add this to your chili when you're making chili, oh my god, I'm telling you, 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 you don't know what you're in for when you start doing stuff like this, I mean, it's a hassle, yes. Let me tell you what, it's well worth the effort and the trouble, okay? And of course, don't waste these vegetables. You can use these carrots, again, just freeze them. They're perfectly fine. Same with the celery, perfectly fine. Hey, you want to know how to cook a good beef broth? Right here is the recipe. A lot of different types of vegetables, no sodium, Hey, how much healthier can you get? And guess what? It's all natural too. What better thing can you get with that? With that in mind, guys, hey, join me again. We'll be doing some more cooking. Matter of fact, when this is all done, tomorrow we're going to make some chunk beaver chili. What do you think of that? And I'm going to be using this broth. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow. You all take care. Bye-bye, man.